I'm Lillian Gray, South African fine artist and owner of the Lillian Gray Fine Art School. Today I'm going to be talking about watercolour canvas. So today I'm going to be using an urban canvas. You do get various watercolour canvases from Winsor & Newton, Fredericks and various other brands. But today I'm going to talk about this one. Um, this one's quite versatile, uh, quite price comparative, um, much more affordable than the others. And what I like about this is that you could also use it for charcoals and colored pencils. So it really is a mixed media canvas. Um, but today we are going to explore what happens when we paint with watercolor on this. All right, so there's two ways of approaching this. If you're going to be doing a traditional watercolor, and you're going to be placing washes all over. It is recommended that you actually wet your canvas um, quite nicely and just leave it for about three minutes. Now, various brands you need to leave for longer. Like I know the Fredericks one, you need to let it soak for 10 minutes before you can start painting. For this one, it's just a few minutes. Um, just wet it prior. Um, today I'm going to try doing more of a contemporary nude painting, so I'm only going to be wetting the canvas where I'm actually going to apply my watercolours in the end. Okay, so now um, I am first just going to wet my nude where I'm actually want to apply paint for now. Um, so I'll be using a lot of wet on wet technique. Um, where I'm going to start with my shadows. Um, I'm going to leave that to soak for a bit before I activate it with paint. <music> she's laying on so I'll be wetting this area now um, and just giving it another three minutes to dry before I start working with my watercolors on it <music> So since this is an experimental demo, um, I don't know if you guys have ever used salt or alcohol with um, with your watercolors, but I'm going to experiment and I love using salt for a nice uh, contemporary texture and I'm going to let that dry completely before I'm going to uh, rub that off. my fun experiment with this urban canvas I will definitely be using this baby again I really enjoyed it I love feedback from a canvas and I don't like it when we paint on paper or board where you don't get that feedback so I really enjoyed this and this is my first try with watercolor and canvas so I'm definitely doing this again and the wonderful thing about this urban canvas is that you guys actually do not have to seal this um, you do get an HDO sealer and you get a wax sealer. If you're really, really nervous, you can put that on. Be very careful for not activating your watercolor paint again. Um, so they say you don't have to seal this baby. So this makes your watercolor so much cheaper to sell, much more affordable because you don't have to put it behind glass and you don't have to frame it. I'm so excited about this. Um, please remember down below are all the links where you can buy these awesome products from artsavingsclub.coza. I'm Lillian Gray and please remember to subscribe.